Hey, hey, the soup for breakfast is bland. Why is it so watery? What? It's not good? No, it's not. Make it richer, will you? But the doctor said I should watch the salt. Who cares? I love rich flavors. The one who's always complaining about the food is my mother-in-law, or Mill for short. She's constantly craving heavily seasoned food. But she's overweight and borderline diabetic, so her doctor warned her. She doesn't seem to care and just adds extra seasoning to whatever I cook. I was stunned by the unreasonable amount of salt and pepper. She added to the soup I'd carefully prepared. Even though I use low-sodium salt and seasonings, it's apparently not enough for her. I keep thinking she's going to drop dead one of these days if she keeps this up. To be honest, I wouldn't be heartbroken if she did. Mill seems to live for giving me a hard time. All she does is complain and act spiteful towards me. I'm Alice, 29, working while also being a housewife. I've been married to my husband for three years, but we don't have any kids. The issue is my infertility, and Mill never lets me forget it. You're worthless as a woman if you can't have children. You're defective. Wow. You should be grateful just to be kept in this house. You're right. I'm defective because we've tried so many times, and I can't have kids. Talk about drawing a bad hand, huh? Ha ha ha. How could you say such a thing? Well, because a woman who can't have kids is finished. You're right, Mom. My husband laughed and agreed that I'm defective. I want a baby so badly. I've been going to the obstetrician while working, but nothing's working. It's physically and emotionally draining, so I've decided to stop the treatment. It also costs a lot, making it tough to continue for years on end. My husband used to say that spending money on fertility treatments was a waste, yet he pressured me to get pregnant quickly. What's the use of pressuring me? I can't get pregnant if it's not happening, I thought. After stopping the treatments, I considered the idea of living happily ever after, just the two of us. But my mother-in-law hadn't given up on having a grandchild. To taunt me, she even bought diapers and showed them off. Look, I bought diapers. Excuse me? You'll need them eventually, ha ha ha. Um, aren't those a bit small for you to wear, Mill? Ha ha ha. Hey, these are for a baby. Can't you see that? Well, I wouldn't know. I'm the defective, faulty woman who can't have children. Ha ha ha. That's enough. Angry, my mother-in-law stormed off to her room. Thank God, I thought, already exhausted from work and not in the mood to deal with her snide comments any longer. She must really have nothing better to do than to make my life miserable. We had moved in with my in-laws after my father-in-law passed away a year ago. My mother-in-law was devastated then. Around the same time, she was warned by her doctor about her risk of diabetes. That's why we moved in. My husband wanted to be there for his mom. But despite her diabetes, she's fine. As long as she takes her medication and eats properly, there's nothing to worry about. Well, considering she neglects her meds and eats whatever she wants, her condition will probably get worse sooner or later. Even if that's the case, I really don't want to be the one to take care of my mill. I'm still working and super busy. Taking care of in-laws in my 20s? No, thank you. The next day was my day off, so I was doing house chores. My mother-in-law, who usually just lounges around, eating snacks on the sofa, suddenly stood up and walked into my room. I didn't want her in there, but my hands were full, so I just let it be. I cleaned your room for you. Ha ha ha. Oh, thank you. I sense something fishy here. I should switch rooms with my husband. You know, if you leave in such a messy room, you'll get bugs. Ha ha ha. But it suits you. Ha ha. Uh-huh. Go on. Enjoy your clean room. Sure, thanks. My mother-in-law seemed to think I was grateful, which made her behavior even more suspicious. I had a feeling she was up to no good. That night, I decided to sleep in my husband's room. He's been away on business since yesterday, so he won't know. Even if he finds out, I knew he wouldn't get mad, so I made my choice. I work as a nurse with irregular hours, so we have separate bedrooms. Part of it is that our relationship has cooled off, but mostly it's because I don't want to disturb him when I work night shifts. I waited until Mill went to her room, and then went to my husband's room. All right, mother-in-law is in her room. Time for me to sleep, too. And so, I slept there for two days. 
My mother-in-law seemed suspicious because I looked too cheerful. She started asking weird questions. Don't you feel any pain or anything? Huh. What do you mean? Oh, never mind. Uh, was there something you were suspecting? Avoiding eye contact, my mother-in-law ate her meal alone. I had the night shift that day, so I planned to relax at home before heading to work. Taking it easy isn't an option for me, since my mill never lifts a finger around the house. She loves bossing me around, all while lounging on the couch, snacking, and reading Japanese comics aimed at women. She's probably reading and scheming what she can do next to make her annoying and bratty daughter-in-law cry. I saw the cover of her comic. It was sloppily translated into English as epic, mother and daughter-in-law swamp battle. Couldn't help but roll my eyes at her choice of reading. Eventually, my husband got back from his business trip, but it was already 10 p.m. Ugh, I'm exhausted. I'm hopping in the bath. Sure, I'll heat it up for you. Have a beer in the meantime. Thanks, I will. Ah. Wait, it's not safe to drink alcohol before a bath. Fine, I'll go for a non-alcoholic beer then. He reluctantly drank a non-alcoholic beer because I warned him about the risks of mixing booze and hot water. You'd think he'd know better. Even saunas have signs warning against entering if you're drunk. But no, common sense isn't so common for him or my mother-in-law. After that, my husband took his bath and sang loudly. We live in a single-family home, but singing at this hour, our neighbors won't be pleased. La 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 la. Hey, you're too loud. Shut it! You're the one who's loud. I warned you quietly, so stop singing already. My mill came into the bathroom area to chime in. Watkin is just trying to have a good time singing. What's the problem? What? You really don't know how to treat your husband, do you? Always so inconsiderate and full of complaints. Hey, I'm not the one constantly complaining, Mill. Ha ha ha. Back talk, huh? You're definitely not cute. Not that you're a beauty to begin with. That's fine by me. I'm probably a knockout beauty in some other country. No worries. Ha ha ha. After that, my husband got out of the bath and started drinking. It was already 10.30 p.m., and I needed to leave for the hospital where I work. Even though it's nearby, there's a lot to do, so I need to leave early. Oh, by the way, I've been sleeping in your room. Would you mind sleeping in mine tonight? My clothes are everywhere. Sorry. Uh, sure. Doesn't matter to me. All right, I'm off then. Take care. I told my husband quietly, so Mill wouldn't hear. As I was about to grab my bag and leave, I heard my husband's loud groan. Ah! Ugh! What? What the? Watkin? He was curled up on the floor, clutching his leg and moaning. He looked to be in a lot of pain. Mill's face went pale, and she started to panic. Um, um, what's going on? Speak! He couldn't say a word. No matter what I asked, there was no response. I thought I needed to do something. But then I noticed something strange. The floor was unusually slippery. I was wearing socks, but it was so slippery that I felt like I could fall. What the heck is this? Ah! Watkin! Mill, what on earth did you do? I didn't do anything! It's not my fault! Blaming my mill right now wouldn't solve anything, so I immediately called an ambulance. My husband was taken straight to our hospital, and work was the last thing on my mind. He kept clutching his leg even after we arrived, visibly sweating in pain. You could tell it was serious. Ow, it hurts. So bad. Watkin, hang in there. Please, help me. Thankfully, a doctor was able to examine him, and it seemed like he felt a bit relieved. His leg was indeed broken, just as we suspected. He probably twisted his ankle the moment he slipped on that slick floor. It was a fifth metatarsal fracture, so it all added up. Speaking from experience, I twisted my ankle falling downstairs years ago. I heard a loud snap and the pain was unbearable. I was also diagnosed with a fifth metatarsal fracture. I was lost in music while walking down the stairs, so it was quite embarrassing. I even lied to my close friends about it. Since his fracture didn't require hospitalization, my husband could come home. I was scheduled for a night shift, but my nursing supervisor insisted that I should take the night off. It's not a life-or-death situation, but I guess she was genuinely concerned. I survived, but now I've got a fever. Well, you broke your leg. Of course you'd get a fever. But why was the floor so slippery? Why don't we ask Mill about that, huh? Haha. <laughs>
Hey, what did you do to the floor in the room? Um, well, the floor was all slippery. That's why I slipped and fell. I could have seriously broken my leg. Well, that room is for my daughter-in-law, so I greased the floor. What? I was hoping my daughter-in-law would slip, so I put a lot of grease on the floor. I never expected you to go in there and slip. Ah, unbelievable. Turns out my mother-in-law intentionally greased the floor to make me fall. She had claimed to have cleaned the room, but her actual intention was to put me in harm's way. I'm furious. If I had entered that room, I might have broken my leg. No, breaking a leg would be the least of my worries. Hitting my head could have been fatal. My mill is practically a criminal for doing something this dangerous. You're despicable. You're not even family to me anymore. I got seriously hurt because of you. I'm going to the police. Wait a minute. I didn't directly cause any harm, did I? Your wife is the one to blame. What? She told you to enter her room, didn't she? So this is all her fault. Shut up. That's not the point. You're getting arrested. My husband was furiously dialing the police. My mill tried to snatch the phone away, but couldn't overpower him. Even with a broken leg, my husband was still stronger. He was desperately holding on to his phone, speaking to the police. I couldn't help but think that I'd rather be at work, maybe even at the hospital, than deal with this mess. Neighbors will eventually catch wind of this horrifying situation. Well, since she almost injured me too, maybe I should also consult the police. What? We don't know for sure, but she might be charged with attempted harm. Wait, no, I don't want to be taken to the police. Really? You knew the risks when you did this? Or did you think you could just erase me from this world? Well, I did think it would be better if you just disappeared. Wow, you're the worst. Your mindset is criminal. Personally, I wish you'd just stay in jail forever. Uh, um, let's get a divorce. What? I can't continue like this. If I stay in this house, you might actually erase me one day. I'm too scared to live with that. Plus, I can't stand your lack of morals anymore. Wait, don't say we'll divorce over this. Over this? You looked down on me, called me defective. Do you even know how much that hurts? I can live without you just fine. No, I need you. I was counting on your income. I even got a new car contract. What? I finally got the Toyota Century I've always wanted from Japan. I don't care anymore. I managed to clean the slimy floor and hastily packed my belongings into a bag. I stuffed more into my carry-on, took off my wedding ring, and placed it on the table. While rummaging through a shelf full of dishes, I thought about bringing the divorce papers. Ah, found it. The divorce papers you wrote before. What? Remember how you wrote that if I can't have a child within two years we'd divorce? Thanks, I can't have children now, so let's divorce. You must feel relieved now. Wait, what about the loan for my centuri? Who cares? I left the house and headed straight to the hospital. The compassionate charge nurse didn't prob when I showed up at the hospital. She seemed to sense I had my reasons. I'm a nurse, so I can support myself without relying on a husband. I wondered why I put up with being treated like a servant in that awful in-law family, enduring their snide comments. I started to feel like the whole situation was ridiculous, so I decided to focus solely on my job and stop dwelling on it. The next morning, I filed for divorce. He's now my ex-husband. Given the emotional pain he caused me, I consulted a lawyer about getting compensation. In the end, my ex-husband had to pay me, and I couldn't help but think, serves you right. Ever since the police got involved, it seems the neighbors have been giving my mother-in-law the cold shoulder because she blabbed about why my ex-husband broke his bone, everyone thinks she's a terrible parent. Understandably, my ex-husband no longer wants anything to do with her and seems to have kicked her out. Though there is some kind of survivor's benefit program, it doesn't pay much. She's been crying that living alone is impossible. She loves to eat, and because of her, our grocery bills were outrageous. So, living on just the survivor's benefit would mean a very modest lifestyle. As for my ex-husband, I don't care what happens to him anymore. He said something about taking out a car loan, but I have no idea what happened with that. I assumed he wouldn't be able to afford it on his salary. He took me for granted and thought I would contribute money too, which annoyed me so much. 
Even though he's not particularly wealthy, he's the type to buy a new car without thinking. Later, I started dating a doctor at the hospital, and two years after that we got married and were blessed with a child, which felt like a miracle after all I'd been through. From now on, I'm committed to doing my best for my family, 